Hi guys, it's Kathleen. So here are all the acrylic paints that I'm going to be using. I'll have them listed down below, um, but I just wanted to show you guys. So for all my nails, I'm going to be using Spun Sugar by Nina. Um, and so I've painted one coat, and so I'm going to do a giraffe. So I'm going to start off with two dots, um, brown dots, and then I'm going to go in with like a gold dark like a dark gold and I'm gonna paint like his like um I don't know what they're called his you know the two horn not horn things but you know what I mean and then I'm gonna do the circle for the head and I'm using yellow now um so the giraffe has like um in like the picture that I'm using it has like different tones of yellow so that's why I'm using gold and yellow so then I'm gonna draw the ears like so on both sides obviously and then I'm gonna take like um, white mixed with yellow so it makes kind of like a beige and then that's gonna be like his mouth area and then I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna move on to the cheetah so for the cheetah I'm gonna draw a circle for his head and I'm using gold um, and then I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to take the same gold and I'm just going to do two circles, two little circles for the ears. So this is what it should look like um, for now. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to the giraffe pattern. So. The pattern of the giraffe, it's really just like squares and triangles, nothing, you know, crazy. So, um, it's very easy. I'm just using brown and again, I'm just doing random squares um, and triangles. And again, it's not perfect, you know. I want to make it look kind of messy so you can actually, you know, have the feel of a giraffe. And then I'm going to do the cheetah print. So for the cheetah print, I'm just going to do yellow dots and I'm going to let that dry. So back to the giraffe, I'm going to do little hairs, you know, on top of the forehead and I'm going to use the white um, acrylic paint and I'm going to do the eyes and then I'm just going to take some brown and just kind of spot the giraffe, um, you know, just little, little circles here and there. And here it's a little hard to see, but I'm just kind of doing like the mouth area. Um, so it kind of looks like a little anchor. So that's kind of what I did. And then I'm going to take some pink and I'm just going to dot um, the ears to give it a little highlight. And then I'm just going to add um, two dots for the cheeks, so a little blush. And then I'm going to do um, black for the eyeballs. So here's the giraffe. It is so cute. So back to the cheetah, I'm going to start off um, doing his um, nose, it's a big brown nose, and then I'm going to take black and I'm going to do a little semi-circle underneath the brown, and then I'm going to take white and that is going to be his mouth area. So I'm going to take white for the um, eyes and then I'm going to take brown and add kind of like cheetah spots. So I'm looking that it was kind of like a looking like a bear but we're going to pretend it's a cheetah okay. <laughs> so once again I'm going to do the little anchor um, thing for the mouth. And then I'm going to go ahead and take pink and highlight the ears. And then I'm going to take black and draw in the little eyeballs. So to make the cheetah prints, I'm going to take brown. And I'm going to do little C's around the um, previous dots that I had um, added before. Um, and then I'm going to add some brown in areas that are like kind of empty and so here is what my left hand looks like um, so now we're gonna get started on my right hand 
So for the tiger, I'm going to use orange and I'm just going to draw um, kind of like a circle but it's like a circle that has like cheeks um, and then I'm going to fill it in and I'm going to let it dry. So um, while that's drying, I'm going to draw his ears, um, two circles above the, you know, the other circle. So for my zebra, I'm going to draw, once again, a circle in white and then I'm going to fill it in and let that dry. And then I, once it's dry, I'm going to take some pink and I'm going to draw his um, mouth area or his nose area. So to give it the feel of a zebra, once it's dried, I'm going to take black and I'm just going to add um, about three stripes going across the whole head. And then I'm going to take black and fill in the ears and then I'm going to do three little stripes um, on his um, forehead. Well, it's not really his forehead, but you know the hairs that zebras have on top of their head and then I'm going to take black and um, draw his two little nostrils um, with a dotting tool so back to my tiger I'm going to draw a white circle and then I'm going to do like two um, little bunny ears and that's where his eyes are going to go so then I'm going to take pink and again highlight his ears and then I'm going to take black and kind of draw stripes um, again along the tiger's forehead and his cheeks. So for the tiger stripes, um, my little trick is I shake my hand while I'm drawing the stripes. Because tiger stripes, they're not, um, you know, they're not like straight lines. They kind of have like that little um, shake to them. Um, so just shake your hand while you're actually drawing these stripes and they will come out looking very nice. They will actually look like tiger stripes. And on the other hand, for the zebra, you want to do straight lines. So you want to kind of let your brush flow to give it that little flick. Um, and they are also um, diagonal. So. That's the difference um, on how to draw zebra and tiger stripes. And for the zebra, I'm going to do two white um, big dots. And once they're dried, I'm going to add the black dots for the eyeballs. And then to the tiger, I'm going to do two black dots for the eyes, which later I actually changed to blue dots. And then I'm going to do um, a black nose, so it's just a little um, dot. And then um, two pink dots for the cheeks, again for a little blush. And then um, the little anchor for the mouth. And after all that work, here are what my nails look like. They are so incredibly cute. So um, for my thumbs, I kind of just combined um, both, um, you know, patterns that each animal had. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I went step by step because I really want to make it, you know, look simple because it really is simple. You're kind of just doing shapes. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys subscribe and that you please um, thumbs up this video and share with others. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!